mission will start with our launch, and in that we'll have everything we need to go to Mars. We're going to launch in a relatively conventional rocket, but at the top of that rocket is going to be a cruise stage and the re-entry vehicle to get us landed onto Mars. There'd be a short, ever such short burn to get us away from the Earth and into this curved trajectory going towards Mars. During that, our spaceship will literally just split apart, connected by our little tether, and it will start spinning to create this artificial gravity. Fingers crossed there won't be any solar storms on the way from the Earth to Mars, and we can keep going nice and gently. Once we get to Mars, we'll re-tether it together, the astronauts will join in the nose cone, and it will be ejected into the Martian atmosphere. This is why you need this big cone at the front to soak up all that heat going through the atmosphere. At 700 miles an hour or so, they will be able to release a parachute. Right at the last moment on entry, the legs are going to be deployed and we hope that re-entry vehicle quite gracefully descends on those retro rockets down to the surface of Mars. Some people think that the use of humans is, is just something that is popular and very attractive from an adventure uh, and inspirational point of view, but there are also real scientific benefits for sending humans. Humans can data process while they're walking around, while they're looking at rocks. They're probably the most sophisticated computer and the most sophisticated robotic living organism that you can imagine. There'll be the building of the habitat and there'll be some experiments on the Martian surface. After a couple of months, we'll drive from our landing zone to the return launcher. We'll get in that, hopefully it will be fueled up, fire off from the Martian surface and fly back to the Earth again. Mm -hmm.